we have again another interesting Samsung device. This S21 Plus does not charge, does not turn on and the power button is broken and we have to fix it. The back of this device being broken, we heat it up really quick and started the process of removing the back cover. We started at the bottom of the device to make sure that we have an opening and then we use our tool to go along the side of the device and continue the separation of the back cover and the frame of the device. You need to be careful around the cameras not to insert your tool far inside because you risk to damage the cameras if by accident you struck the cameras they might get damaged trying to save money by doing this yourself so we cannot make any mistake while removing the back cover the back of the device has been removed like i said the device is not charging the screen is not responding and it's basically a dead device and as you can see it we have one watt going through the device right now this is not normal the device should be charging at more than one watt the only way the device is charging with one watt is if the battery is full i doubt this battery is full i've removed all the screws of this device we need to dig deeper to find out why this device is acting this way nothing is working on this device the only thing we know about this device from the owner is that the power button is damaged and that's the cause of all of these issues so we are going to disconnect the power button and see if the device is going to act normally since we've not removed the battery cable we need to keep using plastic tools to avoid any further damage to the device as you saw it the device is still charging at one watt then the other logical step is to see if the wireless charging is working and in this case there is no charge to the device and the coil is working the next logical step is to see if the battery inside the device has any charge and as you can see it we still have one watt charging something is blocking the battery or the battery is simply too low to charge the device but that does not explain why the device is not charging so my friends we need to dig even deeper inside this device and see what's wrong with this smartphone these issues can happen to any one of us a smartphone that does not turn on does not charge you don't know what to do i'm going to show you what steps you need to take in order to revive your device we have successfully removed the motherboard out of this device the motherboard out we need to physically check the flex cables at the top of the device and then move at the bottom of the device in order to remove the charging module remove the charging module cover and then remove all the flex cables that are attached to the charging module and the screen of this device and then we proceed in removing the sim card tray after we've removed the sim card tray we can go ahead and remove the charging module it wasn't all that difficult removing the charging module is very easy next we will need to remove the battery of this device in order to remove the battery i started to hit the screen of the device just after a little bit of struggle we can remove we can safely remove the battery out of the device preferably use a plastic tool to remove the battery if you're not very experienced never use a sharp metal tool to remove the battery if it gets punctured you risk to create fire so at this point we're removing all the small components that are still attached to the frame of the device we're removing the antennas the 5g antennas at right and left of the device and we moved on on removing the front facing camera a little bit of heat on the front of the screen and then we can pull the front facing camera out one thing to mention is the front facing camera is a little bit fragile we're going to reinstall everything inside this new screen to make sure that that the screen is indeed bad and have access to new power button after installing the charging module we move the next on the installation of the motherboard the motherboard being installed the installation of the battery is next after the battery we need to connect all the flex cables that we removed out of this device the main flex cable linking the charging module to the motherboard can be damaged and cause all of these issues after we've installed all the flex cables connected the battery cable also we can try to turn on the device so at first we have connected all the essential component of this smartphone after multiple time of pressing down on the power button the device is not responding and we're getting a little bit disappointed so i decided to add the wireless charging coil back to the device and make sure that maybe something else is going to happen in some samsung device the wireless charging coil is a critical component for charging the device will not charge if it does not have that small component on the back and again that does not explain why the screen is still black even if we've install everything correctly a charging rate of one two three watt is not normal so after a while after a little bit of troubleshooting i was able to make the device work and it is charging now at around six watt six watt is still too small for this device so check the charging rate at the bottom of the device and you can see it's more than 20 watt this is very normal this is what it's supposed to be so at this point we know that the device is responding now power is flowing through the battery and the screen 
can light up. The device is working but we have not finished our repair of this device. So let me explain you what I think was happening to this device. The power button being stuck, maybe the other volume button also was stuck and the screen was not responding despite what the owner of the device told me. I'm not sure exactly how but I think the device went into safe mode. These Android devices have a safe mode where everything is a little bit different than the normal mode of operation. And in some weird situation with some weird application on your device, your device can be completely off, the power button is not going to respond until you go inside boot load mode. The bootloader mode lets you send commands directly to the device without going inside the one UI or the main operating system of the device. Bootloader is the beginning of heavy troubleshooting of your Android device. That's if you have some good power button and good volume buttons. So from a device that does not charge, screen does not turn on and power button does not work, we have a working functional device now but we still have to finish installing the new back cover of this device. I have installed everything, everything has been installed now and we are looking at the new back cover that I'm going to install. This is a really good quality back cover. The double sided tape goes all around the back of the camera. That is what you want for your S21 and S21 Plus. In order to install the new back cover, we need to transfer the old flashlight onto the new back cover. Make sure that you do not use too much heat on the flashlight because it's going to melt down. This component has not been made Made out of glass like on the S20 and Note 20 Ultra. This is only a reflector of the flashlight. The flashlight cover has been installed. We need to remove the green film on the back of the double sided tape and start the installation process of the new back cover. To install the new back glass we need to start with the camera bezel. The camera bezel is the area where it's the most difficult to have everything aligned and really tight. After we have inserted the back cover inside the frame of the device, after the camera bezel area we need to to move at the bottom of the device and check for elevation, cracks and misalignment. We need to do that for the top of the device and start to apply pressure one finger at a time. If everything looks good, we can start to apply full pressure with all our fingers. You can keep applying pressure for at least 5 minutes, 5 minutes of constant pressure if you do not have clamps to apply constant pressure. These are the clamps that I use to keep the pressure on the back cover for at least 10 to 20 minutes. After a while we can remove all the clamps and do our final inspection of the back cover. You've made it to the end, subscribe to our channel and I will see you next time.